Oh, my uh, bag is ridiculously heavy. Hello, beautiful people. It's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what in my bag and more specifically, what in my, oh, just clapped, what I have in my Foul Raven backpack. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, but I have the Foul Raven Kanken backpack. I love this beauty so, so much. Not only does it look incredible and super super cool because everybody who's anybody has one of these backpacks they also fit the world and his wife inside this bag it is so good and so spacious i was like omg this bag is a lifesaver i have it in this duck egg greeny blue color i got it for my leaving present for when i left greg's so i've been seeing a lot of these on youtube about what people put in them for high school and for college and for university and like i said i'm in love with this rucksack i use it every single day I have other ones on display, as you can literally tell here, but this is my main go-to backpack. So this backpack is the original Foul Raven Kanken. It is the standard A4 size, I believe. Just got the front pocket at the front, the two side pockets, and then the clasp at the top. I'm starting to fill up the front panel of my Kanken with all these cool badges. So I've got my Mickey Mouse one, which I got in Target when I went to Florida earlier this year. And then I've also got a waitress one when I went to see that in the West end because it is my favorite musical of all time. I was like, I need this pin badge. It's a cute little pie. So I'm just going to dive right into it. I'm going to start with the front pocket. First thing I have in my front pocket are all the kind of basic essentials that I can quickly grab and quickly kind of take out if ever I need it. I have my lip balm, which did have a cute little design, but it's just the aloe vera Vaseline. I have my wallet, which has all of my cards and it's just a separate wallet with an RFID system. So it means that people cannot take my money. I have no money anyway, but it's always nice to be sure. I also have a spare charger. And then with that, I also have a portable charger. Now, this has been a lifesaver and a godsend. My phone dies all the time. I'm always vlogging on it, taking pictures on social media. And this portable charger has two whole battery lives in it. I think this has done me well. And again, I literally just connect the two and bish bash bosh. I also have my car keys and my house keys. I also have a packet of polos. As you can tell, I have uh, completely destroyed these and gone through them because my breath always smells after lunch and I like to have a few polos in my bag just so if ever my breath does stink I have something there to get rid of it and also because it's Halloween I have these Cadbury goo eggs I am obsessed with these I love having a little snack in my bag because I do a lot of commuting I'm on the train for three hours plus some every single day and sometimes I'm on the way to work or I'm on the way back from work and I'm like and I just get out a nice Cadbury goot head and I'm like, yes, yum. Thank you, past Jamie, for buying these and putting these in your bag. I just have some of these left. These are so delicious, but I just like to keep them just in case I ever get peckish. And then lastly, in the front pocket, I just have some uh, ibuprofen and paracetamol just in case I ever need it. So that was everything in the small compartment in my bag. That was quite a lot of stuff, I thought. Um, and there's still room for some more stuff. So now we're going to delve into the main compartment of the rucksack. So the first thing that I have in my rucksack is a tote bag. Now, not many people realize how much of an essential and a lifesaver this is, but most of the time I go into Tesco's after work and I grab some lunch or I grab some dinner. And instead of using a plastic bag there and buying one for five or 10p, I like to carry my own tote bag in case I ever need it. Just good for saving the environment. And this one has all of the kind of Mickey Disney logos on it, which I really, really like. Another thing I have is an umbrella. So England is so rainy and wet wet this time of year. This one just folds up into one of the small ones and has a wooden handle just in case it ever does rain as I'm walking home and I'm like, I need this umbrella. Another thing I always, always, always carry around is a water bottle. This is the Star Wars water bottle. And again, it's just one with a school. Oh, honey. So this is just one with a screw lid and I just fill this up with water every single morning. Even if I, like I said, I'm just going out into town, I get so, so thirsty. I don't want to spend 40p on a water bottle, uh, which is plastic and ruining the environment. I would much rather take around my own reusable one. This is one of my obsessions because I'm in love with stationery, but I have a lot, a lot of notepads in my bag. I have two of my main notepads always in my rucksacks. I never leave home without them just because I'm one of those people who I'll be on the train or I'll be on the way to university or something and I'll be like, oh, 
I need to write this down. And instead of typing it on my phone because they get lost in the notes and I completely forget about them, I'll write them down in a notepad. So I have these two. So I have my Mickey Mouse one and then I have my Disney Pride one, which I got for working with Disney Pride this summer. I'm obsessed with this. It's this beautiful kind of soft material and it's black and it just has the Disney Pride logo. And this has all of my YouTube video ideas. So I haven't had this for long, but any kind of YouTube content, whether I'm at work or at university or on on the train, I will note them down in my little Disney journal. I also have my 2019 or end of 2019 goals in the front. So one of them is I would love to reach 1000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of 2019. And I would love to hit 2000 followers on Instagram. If you're not subscribed or if you're not following, go hit the subscribe button, go onto my Instagram and hit follow because I post content every single week and you don't want to miss out because I'm a right bundle of laughs. I am a mess of a human. <laughs> It's just nice to have it all in one place and it just means that if I write it down, it will be done. Whereas, like I said, if I put it in notes, RIP, it disappears and I'm like, oh yeah, I completely forgot I was meant to do that. I then have this second one. Now, this second one is mainly for things like finances. I think that I'm quite good with saving and budgeting and things like that. And I like to use this diary to kind of plan out my budgets every single month. And it just gives me a rough idea as to what I'm actually spending and saving to make sure that I am saving as much as I can because Brexit is destroying my... I need to save for a house. I know I'm only 20 years old, but it's going to come around soon and I'm going to be like, wow, I'm so poor. I also like to carry around a book. So like I said, I commute all the time and sometimes I don't want to watch a Netflix episode and I do English literature as a degree at university and I'm a big sucker for books. One book that I'm reading at the moment is called Boy Meets Boy. I've never really read any LGBTQ plus kind of based books and this is such a lovely book. There are so many delays on the train that I'm like... Something a little bit different. I like to carry around some aftershave. So as you can tell, I use this a lot to spritz after a lecture or if I've been in the library for like 20 hours and I'm like, God, I need a shower. But I don't have time for a shower. So I'm like, spritz, spritz, spritz. I absolutely love this one. This is the Tommy Hilfiger one. It's 9 99 I believe. So really not that bad considering you get a 100 milliliter bottle. I didn't realize, but I also have another charger in here and I also have one on the floor. So I have three chargers. Um, not sure how that happened, but I will never complain at having two many apple chargers. Another first aid thing I have in my bag are some strepsils. So as you can tell from my YouTube channel, I love to talk and I love to sing at random moments. Um, that results in me having a lot of sore throats, especially now it's coming into winter and everything's getting cold and my voice is like... <laughs> Jamie, stop it. And I'm like, hell no. They have this kind of cute little um, stitch in label. So as you can tell, it's the Foul Raven backpack and it says name and also uh, contact. So if ever you lose it or it gets lost or you leave it somewhere like on the train or in the library, uh, they can just look inside of it. It will say your name, your contact details and they can just call you up and be like, hun, you've left your rucksack and then you can come and collect it, which I think is a really nice touch. So the first thing in this back pocket is my big kind of folder. Um, I don't have much in this fold up. So at the moment, it just has my kind of YouTube schedule. So everything that I want to film and when I want to film them and also um, my upload days and my upload schedule. And then finally, I have my MacBook Pro. So this I got three years ago. I saved so hard for this bad boy. I use this every single day, whether I'm writing notes in a lecture or I'm writing an essay or I am at work editing or I'm saving a video. I am doing so so much. Even if I'm watching YouTube, it is all on this. So yeah, I just keep this in the back of my backpack. So I like to upload and schedule my videos at work because what would take an hour and a half, two hours at home takes about 20 minutes at work. So I always like to take my laptop in in case I'm like, oh God, I need to upload a video tonight. Bish bash boss, it's done in 20 minutes. However, it is something that I'm so scared to take around because I know it's so much money and I know that people are after it and I'm like, <gasps> no. That is literally everything in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down below, of course. Comment down below whether you have a Cancun rucksack and what your favorite color is. And of course, I will see you in next week's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.